Welcome to this uh, ZBrush uh, short course on ZBrush 2019 new features. Okay, so in this lesson, what we're going to look at is the new Z Remesher version 3.0. So um, down here underneath the geometry tab, um, I've got the Z Remesher options in here which we'll talk about in a second. I just want to talk about this piece of geometry. Right, this piece of geometry was basically done from a 3D snapshot um, of an alpha. If you did my um, 3D snapshot uh, feature, then you'll know this little item. And the thing I've got here is it's quite nice. You know, I've got lots of geometry and stuff, but I might want to Z re remesh it because if you look at the side, we've got no polygons in there at all. So it would be a problem if I started to sculpt on this piece because um, I haven't got any geometry to deform. As you can see, look, I can't do anything really until I hit the geometry side there because these are flat long polygons, so control Z. Uh, so we can use the remesher to put uh, polygons over this and this is where we're going to have a look at this now inside the remesher we've got a legacy 2018 so if i turn that on that will give us uh, the um legacy of the 2018 z remesher so if, I, if it's turned on notice also when i turn this on that they keep creasing the text edges turn off because they are new features on the new z remesher 3.0 so um let's have a look and see what results we get when we z remesh this piece using the legacy one so i'm going to leave all the defaults the same and i've got a target polygon of about 5000 so if we look at this piece at the moment and mouse over it you can see that it's actually 78,000 so it's a lot of polygons in fact I can probably come up a little bit more with this to 6,000 let's take this to 6 um, just want to look at the way it's reacting rather than mesh it down or anything so with a count of 6,000 I'm going to hit I'm going to make sure the legacy is turned on and with the default settings in here I'm just going to hit the remesh so here we go let's have a look at this and what I'm looking for here is that it will look at the edges and cause problems. And there's one thing I've just remembered, and maybe I should keep groups on. Um, it's okay, I can redo it. But we'll just have a look at what it's giving us at the moment. Do, do, do. Give it a few seconds. Okay, so it's done a fairly good job if I turn this off. Um, obviously, it's coming down in size, so it's going to be a bit more pixelated. But... Um, notice my poly groups are gone so I'm going to go back one and I'm going to say keep groups okay and then I'm going to still use that legacy one I'm going to hit it again this should keep the groups and we will inspect this version against the Z remesher 3.0 now they've given us the option of choosing two you know the old um, Z remesher by turning legacy on and also using the new version and that's because like what we're doing now with a 3.0 with edge detection is um, really beneficial for things you know mechanical parts or hard surface um, parts and uh, the, there you can see it's done quite a good job there not bad at all but look at all this stuff around here so what we're going to do is we're going to do a snapshot of this and then I'm going to remesh it using the um, new one so basically, like I was saying, with the 3.0, it's been geared towards like hard surface edges, you know, these um, creases and um, detecting the edges on stuff. So you have this option of the legacy because you, with organic modeling, like someone's head or a monster or something, then you might find that the legacy one version version works better than the new 3.0 version. Now also just, um, to let you know there's actually four versions of this plugin if you Z remesh with the legacy and you hold the alt key it will give you a different algorithm okay um, and if you turn this off and you Z remesh it give you 3.0 but if you press the alt key with 3.0 then you will also get another algorithm so there's actually four Z remeshing options you've got in there so what I'm going to do is um, just make a little snapshot of this and go back one to what this was before 
and we're gonna re we're gonna redo this one I'm just gonna put this here so I've got a little snapshot there that's uh, shift s by the way to create that snapshot and I'm gonna turn this off and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on edge detection okay and we're going to hit the um, Z remesh again and we'll look at the difference and I think there'll be notable difference around here and with the way that it works so we'll leave that this is now using the 3.0 and it's kind of maybe about the same speed okay so what we have here is it's just a bit more like look at the inside it, it's really uniform these these quads are really uniform which could be quite good for using things like micro mesh nano mesh and inside here they're quite tight and also look at um, the way it's kind of deformed around here this is definitely cleaner you know it's given us a much cleaner result than the uh, legacy one um, so what what is so what is the sort of benefits well the benefits is, is going to be much much better for um keeping nice geometry and if i subdivide this up let me just press Control and d so i'm going to get some nice bits going on there that's quite good however i want to now try it with keep creases turned on because when we originally created this piece um we had creases so Control shift again i'm going to drag this down and we're going to go back a couple here to what it was before there we go and this time I'm going to turn creases on and we're going to hit the Z remesh again um, remember this one has been subdivided three times it's given you this soft edge but I'm hoping because of the way this is built it's got creases built into it so it'll give us a sharper a sharper result when I subdivide it up or well, that's the theory so let's have a look at this okay so um let's now subdivide this piece up Control d and now i haven't got that softness on the edge it's nice and crisp and actually gives me a really good result there so 3.0 is in my opinion very cool okay because you do have the option of swapping back and stuff like that for more organic modeling um, you've got this crease and edge detection which is super cool when you put edging on you put creases on stuff using the Z remodeler brush uh, it's going to keep those when you do your Z remeshing so it'll keep those pieces intact meaning that when you subdivide you're going to get nice hard edges on the edge or soft edges where you've creased and beveled and then you're still going to get a really good result so um, having a look at that geometry it looks really good and clean as well this is absolutely amazing so I'm just going to clear the canvas here and that's the result we can get obviously we've got lower subdivision levels in there and uh, we've got the subdivision levels running through the model as well so very cool so that is Z Remesher 3.0 and uh, that's all there is to it really it's just um, you know the rest of the settings that you've got in here are the same um, as you had with all the other remesher options so you know you've got uh, freeze borders freeze groups smooth groups blah, blah 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 and all that stuff so if you've done my courses then you'll know about the Z remesher options because I use them quite a lot in lots of my courses in different ways depending on what you're doing but in general that feature for hard surface modeling and keeping creases and detecting edges is a super cool feature um yep yeah, nothing more to say about it really it's really cool well done pixelogic for um incorporating that just as an added bonus to us for us all fabulous okay right so i'll see you in the next lesson that i'm going to do on new features of zbrush 2019